गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल इट्स अ टाइम टू स्टडी द कामर्स येस्टरडे आई हैव सेड सम ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द कामर्स एंड सम ऑफ द रिलेशंस बिटवीन द कामर्स एंड द इकोनॉमिक्स शैव यू रिमेंबर व्हाट आई सेड द रिलेशंस बिटवीन द कामर्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स इज interlinked with each other the two subjects are interlinked with each other if one subject is not there uh, another subject is no need the days if there is no commercial activity there is no need of economical activity and if there is no economical activity we can't do any commercial activity because so the economical activity is created by the commercial activity only sorry the commercial activity was reached by the after the economical activity that is the production the production is created from the wants of consumers okay but after that we have to reach the produced product by the commercial activity okay and yesterday also we have studied about the border system again potter system okay can we remember the three conditions i said to undertaking the potter system okay the effective potter system will require the three conditions what conditions the surplus stock so the both persons the two persons are going to the potter system or exchange the goods so the two people must be need the surplus stocks right the next one is what so the both double coincidence of ones okay the two peoples must be have the different type of the commodities and the two peoples also have the different commodities that much on that time only so the potter system will be moving effectively okay next that one is the personal meet okay the personal contact between the buyer and the seller okay so without the direct meet of the buyers and the sellers the border system will not works and we have studied some of the constants constants in this border system what is that the lack of coincidence of ones next the non existence of common measure of value okay there is no money mean so the border system will not improve next is the lack of direct contact between producer and consumer okay if there is lack of or absence of the direct contact between the producer and consumer so the border system will come to an end it will not moving quickly okay next one is the lack of surplus stocks so the buyer and the seller both of them must have the surplus stocks okay students tomorrow today we will study the hindrances of commerce today we will study some of the hindrances of commerce hindrances mean some of the obstacles some of the hurdles some of the limitations are the problems we can take anything okay so what are the hindrances will come into the commerce okay before that so we have to know about the objectives of economics simply within one or two line the satisfaction of human wants okay the production of goods and services for the satisfaction of human wants is the main objective of economics okay but in the same time we have to know about the objective of commerce also okay so after produce the product it will must reach in the hand of the consumer this is the objective of commerce the product where the product was produced from that place it will reach to the hands of consumers that is the objective of 
कामस ओके सम ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स विल बी फुलफिल्ड बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कमोडिटी इज एनफ ओके फॉर दैट यू हैव टू नीड सम ऑफ द कैपिटल एंड दे हैव टू टेक सम ऑफ द डिसीजन अबाउट द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स व्हाट टू प्रोड्यूस हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस फॉर होम प्रोड्यूस ओके आफ्टर फुलफिल्ड एवरी बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स तो ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स विल कम टू एन एंड ओके after that the objectives of commerce only have to fulfill okay how to distribute the commodities from the place of the production to the place of the consumer where they are living okay so the production place may be in different area and the places produced in this different area must reach to the hands of consumer in that different place where they are living okay so on the corner of one world to another corner of world the goods have to be moved for fulfilling the objectives of commerce so many of the factors will need and helpful to fulfill the objectives of commerce okay in this link between the consumer and the producer is very much important in this commercial activity or the commerce okay otherwise we can say the commerce only deserves or serves the channel of distribution to attain the objectives of commerce how the produced product will reach in the hands of the consumer okay according to your basic knowledge you can say so the producers have to distribute to the consumer but you have to know those who all are involved in the link between the consumer and the producers okay and not only that what are the factors are involved and assist to objective the commerce fulfilling the objectives of commerce the commerce provides the valuable link between the producer and the consumers it also provides the variety of services to ensure that the passage of goods and services between the two to mean that producers and the consumers okay the channel of distribution the transport facilities and what the banking facilities and so many of the assistant to the trade so we have to know about the assist of trading okay what are the factors will come to assist of trading or commerce is first one is the transport after that channel of distributions okay the transport you mean so we have to adapt some of the types of transport to carry the product from the place of industry to the hands of consumer okay and the distributor distributor means different type of the channel of distribution is there the wholesaler retailer and the different type of the commercial traders will be there to distribute the commodity to the hands of consumers and the banking system and the banks and the warehouses and the different type of the assist of trading or the commerce is there okay we will study it later now we will study the hindrances of commerce and the elimination of hindrances of commerce as some elaborately okay as point wise find if you want to understand what are the hindrances are there in this commerce first of the hindrances is hindrances of persons okay in this commercial activity as in this trade one of the hindrances is hindrances of person hindrance of persons mean so we can assume the two persons only two persons mean the consumer and the producers okay the place is produced in the corner of one world but the demand for that product produced product is will be needed in the another corner of the world okay so there is no contact different direct contact between the consumer and the producers okay the absence of 
direct kind of consumer and the producer is called as a hindrance of persons okay the two persons are the two persons will never meet directly okay even though the wants of product is arranged day by day the product will be distributed by the producer by day by day but even though the direct contact will not be there okay okay the hindrance of patience is there but the hindrance must be need you know how the hindrance of hindrance of patience will be removed or eliminated okay for that one of the assist of trade the assist of trade is channel of distributions okay the channel of distributions will be removed the hindrance of persons okay first one of the hindrance is hindrance of persons hindrance of persons mean the absence of direct contact of consumer and the producers this hindrance is removed by channel of distribution channel of distributions mean the different type of the channel will be there to distribute the commodities from the producer to consumer okay the wholesaler and the retailer and the broker and the middleman and what so the um, establishment and the different type of the link of chain or channel of distribution is there between the consumer and the producers okay that is the hindrance of persons next hindrance of place hindrance mean hindrance of place what's the mean of hindrance of place as i told at first the product is produced in the corner of one world but the consumer are spread throughout the country and the world okay so the place the the, the place of production is different and the wants the satisfaction of the produced commodity is consumed by the person is in the another corner okay so the place is one of the hindrance okay even the product is produced the product produced product will not go to it is in the hand of the consumer okay so the place is the the hindrance of place okay the place is come to us here considered as a hindrance okay right the hindrance of place how can we remove okay it will removed by the transport okay suppose if the product is produced in kashmir so for example apple is produced in this kashmir but here we are eating that apple how it will come to our hand some of the transport transport facilities okay sometime it will come in the rail and the lorry and some other transport facilities okay that is the hindrance of place and the hindrance of place is removed by transport okay so the different place of production and the consumer is called is hindrance of place okay but that hindrance of place will be removed by the transport okay here the hindrance is hindrance of place the elimination of hindrance is removed by transport okay next the hindrance of time hindrance of time hindrance of time mean the consumer always want to consuming any one of the product when they have more money and the time and their willingness okay but the producers do not produce that commodities according to their willingness and when they have money okay so the producer always produced by the anticipation way as per the demand and the commodities okay anticipation means suppose the producers knows when the demand for one commodities will be arranged okay on the basis of the demand of that commodities the producer will produce the commodities okay so the time is very long when the willingness of the consumer and the production of the commodity okay so daily the producer will not produce for the wants of the consumers okay whenever the producer have the time and the ability to product produce he will produce okay but at the same time the consumer will 
get the desire to consume any of the commodities when they have the money and special willingness okay so what we have to do so the product must be protected in any of the place okay till the demand is come in the proper way okay at the time of demand is arrival okay this hindrance of time for example umbrella we can take the umbrella okay so when we have need of the umbrella when the season of rainy or to hot that is summer okay but if the producers produce the umbrella in that season time only it will not going to the market okay so before the rain season and the summer season the producer have to produce the umbrella okay but the umbrella must be protect when the demand is coming in the market okay till that day the product must be protect in any of the area okay so what area we have to select we can't protect all the commodities in any of the separate area in all the area okay so for according to the product or the items so we need the different type of the places according to the features of product so we need warehouses okay so the hindrance of time will be removed by the warehouses okay so the hindrance of time mean the time of consuming and the product the time of consume and the time of product then is the hindrance of time okay this hindrance of time will be removed by the warehouses okay next fourth one of the hindrance is hindrance of risk of deterioration deterioration mean so some of the damage and some of the what okay we can understand some of the damage deterioration means deterioration means damage okay the risk of deterioration is one of the another hindrance what type of the risk of deterioration will come or when it will come means so we are carrying or we are distributing the commodity from the place of industries to the hands of the consumer that is the market okay when the product is coming on the way some of the accident will come and the product will be get damaged and when we are protecting the commodities in this warehouses so the rat and some of the other insect will be attacked and damaged the commodities okay in this type of damage is called hindrance of risk of deterioration okay some of the thief also will be damaged the product to produce uh, protecting the product uh, commodity and so many of the risk will be there okay so how can we resolve this type of risk of deterioration means when we are using the warehousing so we will remove okay the hindrance of risk of deterioration will be removed by the warehousing okay so the hindrance of risk of deterioration mean some of the goods are protected protected against insects rats and evaporation okay some of the product will be get damaged by such a way is called the hindrance of risk of deterioration okay this deterioration will be removed by warehousing next another one of the hindrance of hindrance is hindrance of loss hindrance of loss mean what what are the factors will bring the hindrance of loss the accident when we are carrying when we are distributing the commodities from the industry to market the carrier will come to an accident okay otherwise some of the loss of failure in the market or accidents or theft or floods and some some of the more reasons are there okay if any one of the reasons if the producer or the distributor meets the loss that is the hindrance of loss that is called hindrance of loss when they are producing when they are uh, producing in of the commodity time also they will get 
some time of loss otherwise when the product is this come on the way of even of the transport so the transport also will meets the loss okay this type of loss also called as a hindrance of loss okay how can we remove or eliminate this loss so this type of loss will be removed by the insurance in our nations not only our nations in our world so many of the insurance companies are there the government insurance companies and some private insurance companies okay so the insurance companies serve to cover the risk of such losses okay so far that they have to pay some of the premium for protecting and precaution for the loss of some accident okay so in the way so the producer if the producers meet any one of the loss of fire theft floods and accident this called hindrance of loss but the hindrance of loss is removed by insurance companies okay next one of the hindrance is hindrance of knowledge you can ask what is the meaning of hindrance of knowledge okay now we are purchasing different type of the commodities but we don't know what is the indications are there or what are the molecules are there to produce that commodities okay and even though we don't know how to use that commodities the usage of commodities and uh, how to handle these commodities and the price the place and the details about the consumer and the product okay so without having any knowledge some people may be used in one of the commodities but most of the educated people or the rational people will use all the commodities after knowing all the details of the product okay but so many of the people will not understand or will not come to know about the details of commodities okay that is called hindrance of knowledge okay because there is no way the product if the producer is or produced mean his duty is over okay so some of the channel of distribution some of the middleman will distribute the commodities to the hands of the consumer okay but now the consumer want to consume that commodities okay but before consuming that commodity he want to know about the details of the commodities whether whether uh, shall we eat or not or what are the contents are uh, consisting these commodities okay and the place and the availability and the some of the percentage and uh, so many things are there to know okay but how it will be removed means so the advertising okay now different type of the advertising are available in our area not in our not in our area only throughout the world okay the newspaper advertising and the radio advertising tv advertising and the social media advertising everything is there okay so if you want to consume any of the commodities just if you are google we can find out all the details of the commodities okay so without knowing the details of the commodity is called hindrance of knowledge okay so the hindrance of knowledge is removed by the advertising the radio and the different type of the advertising okay and next one is hindrance of exchange hindrance of exchange mean how uh, can we say so the all persons the producer and the wholesaler retailer and the channel of distributor and even the consumer also want to need money to consume or produce any of the commodities right if you are taking the producer the producers must be in the need of having the money to produce okay so the producers also will not having the more money 
and the distributor and some of the channel of broker or the channel of distributor also with not having the full amount to exchange the commodity from the producer to consumer even the consumer also sometimes does not having the money to consume the product when they want to consume okay okay the three persons also will be in need of money okay but the producers want to produce the uh, uh, channel of distributor want to distribute in the commodity even the consumer want to consume but the three persons the three persons also will come to the situation of shortage of money okay for that any one of the factors or any one of the organizations only you to help to that persons okay who will help then one organization now the banking sector will remove the hindrance of exchange okay in a situation a producer or the channel of distributor or the consumer if does not having the required amount is called hindrance of exchange or hindrance of finance okay but this hindrance is removed by the banking facility or the banking sector okay even the banking will provide the funds to the consumer and the broker and the channel of distributor and even the producer for produced okay so without having the funds to consume in the commodity or production the commodity is called hindrance of finance or exchange okay but this hindrance is removed by banking facilities okay next hindrance of developing extract exact product okay hindrance of developing exact product mean now we are producing in, now we are consuming all the product okay but in the future or continuously 10 or 20 years or 30 years we can't consume the same commodities with the same pleasure right so if you want to consuming more and more the exact the developing for the exact product is must be need okay for example uh, beginning we are using the phone telephone after that we are using the tv after that we are using the recorded video okay but after arrival of the mobile phone so these three things gone away because the mobile phone only have all the feature of the radio mobile phone and the video also okay so by using the mobile phone so we, we throw out the three things okay so the developing exact product okay if you want to produce any one of the exact product some of the development and the research is need okay so the absence of innovation of the product is called as hindrance okay the absence of innovations of the product is called as maybe you can say hindrance of developing exact product okay we can't product the same only and we can't consuming the same product at the long time okay even the producer and the consumers want to consuming different type of the product okay so what is need for developing the exact product so for that the research and development is need okay so the research and development only will be removed the hindrance of developing exact and product okay so for the purpose of making the research and development so many of the commercial research and development organizations are there the government organization and the private organizations also is there and some of the another hindrance also is there one is the hindrance of both selection and delivery at the doorsteps okay nowadays all the peoples and so many of the peoples want to purchase some of the commodities at their same place okay by simply sitting on their home they want to consuming some of the commodities okay because this modern world make us to like this okay so if it is not able to consuming any of the commodities at simply sitting in our home is called the hindrance of selection and 
delivery at door steps okay uh, simply some of the sickness people and some of the aged people want to consuming enough of the commodities and if they are not able to go to the market or shops mean that is called hindrance of selection and delivery okay then who will eliminate this hindrance who will eliminate this problem means now the e-commerce okay e-commerce mean electronic commerce so you could understand so many of the web pages available in our social media and the internet okay the amazon prime and what so the webinar so many of the e-commerce facilities there okay when they are using the e-commerce so without going to the market what they will want to consume everything will come in their home and they will get in the door itself okay so e-commerce will be removed the hindrance of selection and delivery at door steps okay what are the hindrance of the air the hindrance of person it will be removed by channel of distribution and the hindrance of place it will be removed by transport as the hindrance of time it will be removed by warehouse as the hindrance of risk of deterioration it will be removed by warehousing okay I, we will study about the later by the different decision of warehouses and warehousing okay next to the hindrance of loss the hindrance of loss is removed by insurance next the hindrance of knowledge okay it will be removed by advertising next to the hindrance of exchange it will be removed by banking facilities last the hindrance of developing exact product it will be removed by research and development okay students i think you may understand okay we have any doubt please ask me i will tell you thank you